What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, keep the ring little bell and find the full tribe. I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. This is weekly reading for Sign of Gemini. I apologize, it is five days late, but I got arrested on October 20th. Um, my ex husband called the police on me for a welfare check, and it turned into something cray cray. Um, they ended up arresting me because, um, for disturbing the peace on my own property because they were wanting to cart my kids away without my authorization or consent. Um, and I was lied to by the police officer. So, um, it just created this huge hot mess express, but my son is home with me now, safe and sound. My daughter's receiving treatment and I'm out of jail. Thank goodness. But, um, that's where we're at. I hope everybody else is doing well. I apologize. It is late. All right, um, I got one channel. This is for Sun Gemini. This could resonate if you have Gemini any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got one channel to end it as I was meditating on your weekly energy, and the message is patiently waiting is what I heard. Patiently waiting. So you plug it in your life, however that resonates. If that resonates with you, some kind of patiently waiting energy, you or somebody you're connected to. The Emperor Reverse, Three of Wands Upright. A Gemini is about to get the shock of their life. Some kind of act, some action being taken soon. Some towards the Gemini, some towards someone they're connected to. Some it's assistance. Some it is a job offer. Some it is legal. Some it is jail. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So um, you're, you're about to get a shock. Um, some kind of um, something. Somebody's about to take some action basically. They're about to take some action. You didn't expect they were going to take some action, but they are. Um, it's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, you didn't think this person was going to take some action, but they are. So you plug it in how that resonates. For some of you guys, it's um, whoever this person is connected to you that this other person is about to take some action. Um, I heard it's um, legal. For some, it's legal. They're going to take action towards. For some, it is assistance. So they're going to assist them in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it is a job offer. They're going to offer this person. And for some, it is jail. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, in shape, form, or some shape, form, or fashion, I heard it's going to shock you that this either job offer is coming in, this assistance um, of some shape, form, or fashion, um, some kind of legal action, and some kind of jail energy. Um, so to me, that could go positive or negative. You plug it in, how it resonates. You don't have control over this situation. Um, I heard it's going to shock you. You don't have control over it. It's somebody else doing this. Um, and it's going to um, create a series of chain of events, either positive or negative for the person connected to you. And this is the action energy they're going to take. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, that could be the patiently waiting energy too. You're patiently waiting on something to happen either positive or negative, maybe. Maybe for some, you're behind the scenes connected to this, possibly for some, um, maybe. Um, I heard it's gonna, well, no, 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 sorry, eh, no. No, I don't think so, because I heard it's gonna shock you. It's gonna shock you. So no, I don't think you're behind the scenes connected to this, if this resonates with you, I don't. Because I heard you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be shocked. And it's either gonna go very positive or negative, but it's somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Here are messages you have for their sign of Gemini. A Libra is about to be exposed in a huge, huge, huge way, and it is about to shock the hell out of, out of a Gemini. Shock them. Okay. Heard a Libra is about to be exposed in a huge, huge, huge way, and it's about to shock the hell out of a Gemini. Shock them. So um, you never thought this Libra would be exposed in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I don't think it's you exposing them because you're shocked. A lot of shocked energy here for Gemini. This resonates with you. Um, you you're you patiently waiting, I feel. You're waiting in the mist and you're waiting on the sidelines and you're shocked. You're going to be shocked, 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 shocked. So it's not you doing this. It's somebody else uh, exposing this Libra. 
uh, they could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter. But it sounds like they're going to be very publicly exposed, and it's going to shock the crap out of you, basically. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. The Tower reversed, the Hermit upright. A Gemini has legal proceedings coming up soon. Many facts are going to be presented in the courtroom that are not going to look the best. This Gemini has really been going in self-reflection mode, thinking about how it's going to play out. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates, if that resonates with you. So somebody's got some legal proceedings coming up in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard many facts are going to be presented in the courtroom, um, but they're not going to, the facts aren't going to quite add up in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you know this. You're highly intuitive. This resonates with you. You, you already know they're not going to add up. You already know they're not. You're in hermit mode right now if this resonates with you because you're thinking about basically how you're going to get out of this or how you're going to cover your butt or, or something. However that resonates, you're, uh, you're heavily, heavily in your head, like Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, which is your energy, air sign energy, thinking about how to play your cards right is what I'm thinking uh, on this. Because uh, you're in hermit mode, you're in Virgo energy right now. Um, you know they don't add up. You know they don't. Um, and this is the tower energy, that life-altering event you know is coming. Um, and I think it's when the facts don't add up. I heard many facts are about to come out in the courtroom soon. So whoever this is for, you're about to have a legal proceeding soon. But you know the facts aren't going to add up. Many shocking series of chain events are going to occur in this court case. Many. Shock, shock, shock. Okay, I heard many um, shocking events are going to happen in this court case. Many shock, shock, shock. So... You have a lot of shocking, I mean, shocking energy, shocking energy, shock, shock, shock energy, shocking energy all over the place, Gemini. Dear God Almighty. But somebody's at, um, coming up in some legal proceedings. Um, so if that resonates with you, some kind of shocking energy. But you know, you're highly intuitive. You know the facts don't add up. You know they don't add up. Or not the facts. You know with the facts that things don't add up, basically. Um, oh my goodness, you plug it in, how it resonates. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. A particular earth sign is about to ask a Gemini for money. For some of earth sign, for some of water sign. This Gemini is not going to do it this time. Okay, so you plug it in. How that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, for some of you guys, it's earth sign. For some, it's a water sign. Um, earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They can be masculine or femme. But whoever this person is to you, person or people to you, they're going to ask you for some money. Um, I heard you're not going to give it to them this time. So whoever this is for, whether it's one person or 500 people in your life, You've given them money in the past, but you're not going to do it anymore, which is Ace of Wands Reverse. You're not, no money, you're not giving the money to them this time energy. No action towards giving them money. And this, they're very unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, and dependable, obviously, because they're asking you for money. They're a night energy. They could actually be an 18 to 25 energy or mentally immature, like a 45-year-old that acts like a 20-year-old. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, and obviously, if they're, you know, Asking you for money. They should go out and make their own money. Just saying, just saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard um, um, water sign energy. And what was the other one? Water sign and there was another one. You have, I think it was air sign. No, earth sign. Earth sign and water sign. About to ask you for money. Earth sign and water sign. Fourth Capricorn Virgo and a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you.
Spirit messages you have, Sean, and Gemini. A Gemini is strongly wanting to gravitate towards a Leo to reveal important information. This Gemini will probably do this soon. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard a Gemini, Gemini to Leo energy. So um, if this is for you, you're, it's a Leo energy. It can be masculine or femme Leo. They could have Leo and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hair, and Jupiter. If this resonates with you, I heard you want to you want to strongly gravitate towards this Leo and deliver them important information. I heard you will probably do it soon. So you plug in your life, however that resonates, if that reson resonates for you. Hang woman upright, the chariot reversed. A Gemini is really seeing things clearly for what they are now. A family was used and abused and was left stagnant. They are about to stand up for this family in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, Gemini, um, I heard you see things clearly for what they are now. A family was left stuck and stagnant. Um, and... and um, they were left stuck and stagnant. So stuck, energetically, stagnant. They wasn't able to grow or prosper or thrive in the location they were at. Um, it sounds like they were getting tower moment after tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. Um, but you're seeing this. You're seeing this very clearly now. I think in the past you did not see this, but you're seeing it now. So um, I heard you're about to step up with this family in a huge way and take some great action. Um, to help this family in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however you do that, it could be with information, it could be um, uh, physical assistance, um, uh, shouting out to the rooftops and getting maybe news crews involved or um, or people involved to arrest people that um, kept this family stuck and stagnant if they did. It, uh, you know, if it was like gang stalking energy. I feel for some of these situations, it was gang stalking energy because there's a reason this family was left stuck and stagnant. Um, and I don't think it was the family itself. It was not the family at all. Definite gang stalking. Okay. Heard it was not the family at all. Definite gang stalking. So yeah, definite gang stalking energy and it was not the family. It was people basically ganging up on this family in their neighborhood or location that caused the stuck, stuck in stagnancy. Um, and huge theft energy, huge. And huge theft energy too. So huge theft too of this family. But you you are seeing very clearly about this now. You're about to step up and help this family. So how are you gonna step up and help them? Um, you could be a position of high authority in the community. Um, you could deliver information. You could tell the news crews. You could, um, I don't know, call somebody important to get some action in there. And arrest the criminals, you plug it in how it resonates. So hang woman upright is you having a realization and epiphany aha moment about this family that was left that was stole from and left stuck and stagnant um, because they were gang stalked. And chariot reverse, their their energy was stuck because they were stole from, left stuck and stagnant, basically. So you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have sign Gemini. Oh, the path. Okay. Number eight may be very significant. Number eight. And let me look up angel number Financial and material abundance is on its way into your life. You will receive unexpected rewards for past good work. 
financial and material abundance in your life, the path. So if that resonates with you, angel number 888, it's financial and material abundance um, on its way for karma repaid in kind, basically. So if you put good into the universe, good will come back to you. Put bad into the universe, bad will come back to you, basically. That's law of karma. We have the path. A particular Gemini has many important decisions coming up soon. Many. Some regarding... Staying in marriages or not, some regarding children, some regarding apologies of the past. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, you have many important decisions coming up soon. So the path energy and some very important legal issues coming up soon. Okay, so many decisions. The path is basically many decisions coming up in your life. Some it's important legal um, issues coming up soon. We had court in here all strong. Some it's um, staying in a marriage or not. Some it's children, something regarding children in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could be custody changes, modification of custody. It could be having children. It could be not having children. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, and um, let's see. The path you choose will greatly determine your material abundance, and you know this. Okay, and I heard some apologies too, so decision making, choosing the path of whether to apologize for something of the past or not, or somebody to apologize to you for something of the past or not. You plug it in how it resonates, but... Um, I heard the path you choose as far as these, whatever this is, whether it's one thing or two or plus thing, two plus things, it's going to determine your material and financial abundance from here on out. So, uh, and for some, I feel you're highly, highly, highly intuitive and you know this. So we have the path energy, um, choosing what path is best for you, basically. There's a lot going on in there. There's choosing to stay in a marriage or not. So divorce energy or not. Um, children energy, so, you know, have to have children, to not to have children, to, um, you know, fight for custody, not fight for custody, um, to, um, you know, spend extra time with children, your children or somebody you care about children or not. Hopefully it's not pedophile energy, just saying, um, you know, doing it in an upright way. We're not talking about narcissistic ways, just saying, just saying, because there's not upright narcissistic people that do things behind the scenes. Um, in malicious, nasty ways, and there's people that don't. Um, so hopefully you choose the correct path in life, just saying, um, if that resonates with you. But whatever path you're going to choose, it's going to determine your material um, outcome in the, path, in the future. But you're highly intuitive for who this resonates with, and I think you know this. All right, you guys, well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Namaste.